Hello everyone. Today I have such an exciting Trader Joe's haul. I cannot wait to dive in and share with you everything I got this week. But the reason it's so exciting is because there's so many spring seasonal things that just pop back in this week alone. So I hope you guys are super excited to see everything that came in this week. And this is a little sneak preview. We got the Springle Jangle back in and it's in a bag this time. And we also have one of my favorites, the Spring Gummies. So I can't wait to share everything though. And if you guys are as excited as me when these seasonal things come back, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. I do Trader Joe's hauls every Friday and a taste test to follow on Saturday. However, this week, the taste test is actually going to be on Sunday. So um, a little conflict in the scheduling this weekend, but that's okay. The show must go on. So the taste test will be this Sunday instead of Saturday for just this week only. And that is it. I can't wait to show you guys what we got. So let's check it out. All right, I'm starting with the fun stuff first because it's my haul and I'll do what I want. So, of course, it's the frozen. I finally got a hold of the coffee bean. Hold the cones. If you haven't had these and you're a coffee lover, you're certainly missing out. These are fantastic and they are here for a limited time. This haul is all about seasonal things you're going to see come and go for the season and so many new items. So, these are very fun and delicious. These are brand spanking new. We've got the Thai banana fritters. These are sliced Thai Namwa bananas in a coconut milk, rice flour, and sesame seed batter. Now I wanna note, these are vegan and gluten-free. Let's check out the nutrition facts here on the back. So these are fried. I was actually kind of surprised seeing the um, calories per package. So the whole container, and this is a very small container. If you can see my hand, I don't have a big hand. Um, these are tiny. So I think these are more of like an appetizer, but correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not familiar with this, even though I've been to Thailand. Um, so 530 calories if you eat the whole box, 270 if you have half the package. And there is the ingredient list for you if you want to take a screenshot or just pause the video to look further. And then there's a couple instructions here. They have the conventional oven and the air fryer, which is fantastic. And we will be air frying these and finding out how they turn out for the taste test on Sunday. Now to another new product that's frozen. This is the When Life Gives You Lemons Make Ice Cream. And this is a lemon ice cream with a lemon swirl and shortbread cookie bake bits. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Um, this looks amazing. And I remember last year Trader Joe's coming out with a ton of lemon flavored items during the spring. So possibly there will be more lemon stuff coming out, but let's check out the nutrition facts here. We've got, um, three servings per container, 300 calories per serving, 910 per container. And then here is the nutrition facts and the ingredient list as well. So you can see everything in here. It does contain milk, egg, and wheat, so not gluten-free, not vegan. There is the frozen items. I'm gonna put these away and I'll be right back. So I wanted to get something that I haven't purchased in a very long time and I haven't shown you guys, the garlic cheese bread sticks. So these have been around Trader Joe's from the dawn of time. I'm just kidding, but since I've started working at Trader Joe's eight years ago, I literally I remember seeing these ever since then so these are really good they're a little dry I will say but if you heat them up it is delicious and they're perfect for dipping in like a marinara sauce so I like having these and I always check the back because then you can see how much cheese is on the back that's um that's how I pick them at least uh so yeah that is that's why I grabbed those and then let's go into the stuff that we always buy every week and you know we're creatures of habit, what can I say? And I'm sorry if I sound like a broken record, but Middle Eastern flatbread here, got some bananas. Got my son his favorite yogurt smoothies. These are the strawberry. Um, he also has wild berry, but strawberry's his favorite. I also grabbed another, just a ton of these. Benson's been loving them, and same with me, and they're so easy and convenient and delicious. So I grabbed more of these, and then the last creature of habit item that I purchased is the soft strawberry licorice because it's back. It's been in and out of stock for months now and every time it comes back in, I grab a bag because I don't know if it's gonna go back out. And of course, the Mediterranean hummus is down here. That came back in as well. That was out for a couple weeks 
and I had to grab some because it's finally back, so I grabbed that. Um, also got some raspberries because they just look amazing. They're super red right now and they just look incredible and Benson loves raspberries. The sprinkles came back in so of course I had to grab a couple of these because we love them. And then I decided to grab this artichoke and jalapeno dip. This is one of the most uh, popular dips that Trader Joe's sells. I get asked all the time, what's the most popular? Which ones sell? This one usually sells like if there's any event going on. Um, football game, uh, birthday party, what you name it, this is the dip that everyone tends to lean toward. And I think it's because there's like huge chunks of artichoke in here, which I really like. And um, let's just get real, this is so delicious and good that um, of course it's gonna be a popular item. Um, I also grabbed some Valella, I love this. This is just like a really easy salad to take with you if you're on the run or to bring with you for lunch. I literally just eat it with a spoon, but you can of course um, use crackers with it, or I don't know, I eat it with a spoon. Um, the non-dairy oat creamer brown sugar. This is the thing I'm the most excited for of this entire haul. I cannot wait to try this. I have been obsessed with the Starbucks um, handshaken brown sugar espresso, and I order that like at least twice a week. I know it's a bad habit, but um, it's the little joys in life. So this one's great because it's dairy-free, lactose-free, vegan, and gluten-free. And I've heard phenomenal things about it. That's why I'm so excited. You can see here the nutrition facts and the ingredient list for you. If it will focus, there we go. Now moving on to some body care products that are back in as well. The Grapefruit Body Butter is back for spring. Um, Trader Joe's right now is doing like a promotion about spring cleaning, so all the spring cleaning stuff is uh, displayed at my store at least. And these pop-up sponges were there and I totally forgot about these, but my son loves these and they are great because there's 12 in here and you just get them wet and they turn into a sponge about the size of this actual brick right here. So these are very convenient if you need space saving or if you just, um, you know, like to have a sponge around. I love these for like wiping counters down, doing projects. They're great sponges. And if you have kids, literally you can give them a sponge, let them play outside and they're entertained for hours. I'm not kidding. Benson loves these things. Um, and then the, the rose stuff is back now. So we got the rose water facial toner. This one is so nice to just have on a refreshing day. And I highly recommend putting it in your refrigerator because that nice cool mist on your face, like after being outside in your garden, or you know at the beach this is fantastic just to like refresh and then of course the rose oil ultra moisturizing hand cream is back as well this is my least favorite the scent is way too overpowering in my opinion for me but I have a really sensitive sniffer so if you're sensitive to scent just be aware this is a very very strong scented um, cream and I would say this is it's scented as well, but it's not as not even nearly as uh, strong as this So just a warning if you have sensitive smell like I do um, Moving on to the spring stuff. So the spring gummies are back. These are our absolute favorite We love these in my house Benson loves them. Tim loves them. I love them. So I definitely I'm excited to see them back and again There's seasonal just like these are seasonal. Whoops this is seasonal, so I'm showing you all the seasonal stuff. Get it now while it's here. Sprinkle Jangles back. This is seasonal as well. A cheerful mix of fan favorite candy treat. Now last year, they were in a different package. I don't remember them being in this package. Um, so here's what's on the back. So there's the non pareils with spring colored sprinkles, broken pieces of dark chocolate Jojo cookie bark, butter toffee peanuts, Candy yogurt coated micro pretzels with drizzle, milk chocolate peanut butter cups, and dark chocolate peanut butter cups. Ugh, I remember this. This stuff is addicting. This stuff is so easy to just like sit on the couch and just like start eating it and not realize until it's too late that you've eaten almost the whole bag. That's, it's good. Now my second favorite thing that came out this week is the chocolate mousse eggs. If you know, you know, these are divine delicious, and I'm gonna say it again, refrigerate these babies, because they are so good once they're cold. I've actually had a few people tell me they've frozen them, and they're really good frozen, so I haven't tried that. I like to kind of bite into it, um, but that cold, 
filling, the mousse in the middle. Ooh, it's good. Um, so yeah, these are always so much fun to receive every year um, for the season. There's always a different one. We had the Valentine's Day hearts. Now we have the Easter eggs and we're gonna have different ones throughout the whole year. So if you haven't tried these, I highly re recommend picking them up. So what I love about these two is that a serving size is two of these cakes at 280 calories, which is really not that bad for a cake, and you can just have one. I feel like one is very satisfying. So, okay, I'm done with the eggs. Now we're moving on to the synergistically tangy, salty, smoky, spicy, and slightly sweet flavors, seasoned popcorn. This is another fan favorite of so many people. In fact, when it came in last night on the truck, like three of my coworkers grabbed five bags and they're like, I'm taking these. <laughs> so you can tell they're very popular and this is another just addicting product once you start eating it. It has so many different flavors. Your tongue just, it's like a party in your mouth. These are also gluten free, just wanted to note that as well. And um, yeah, they're here for a limited time, so grab them while they're here. Now, speaking of spring, I wanted to get a very light wine and show you guys what is a great option for just something light, easy, and very drinkable. It's the Kono. It's a New Zealand wine, Sauvignon Blanc, and it is one of the best Sauvignon Blancs that I've tried, in my opinion, and I've I don't really like whites, but I can totally drink this, especially when it's chilled. It's so good, and it's just, like I said, nice and light, easy to eat pretty much anything with, and it's a fan favorite. Everybody likes it. A lot of people at my work will gravitate toward this, and it's just one of those easy bottles. Oh, and it's screw, screw top too, which is perfect. So, just an idea if you wanted something like light and easy, that is your friend right there. Um, we also got the new organic Bucatini pasta. So we're getting all these new pastas, which is exciting because they were kind of off the shelf for a while because they were out of stock, hard to get, shipment issues, yada yada. Um, so yeah, this is a brand new one as well. Tim wanted me to get some more bacon, so I got him some bacon. Um, the Brie Bites are back as well. These have been in and out of stock Oh, I feel like for years, but um, they're finally back in again. So if you were waiting for these to come back, they're available. So get them now because they'll probably be gone again. I hate to say it, but it's true. And then I grabbed the Southwest Chop because, as you all know, this is one of my favorite salads of all times. But I also wanted to get it to compare because this is a new salad that just came in. This is the Barbecue and Black Pepper Toscano Chopped Salad. This one has green and red cabbage, carrots, broccoli stock, kale, Cornbread croutons and black pepper Toscano cheese. Yum. And the dressing is a barbecue sweet onion. So um, I was like, when I grabbed this, I was so excited. But then I realized there's like nothing in it. It feels super light and it's the same price as like all the other salads. And I realized that there's only 11 ounces in this one and there's 13.6 and around 13 in all the other ones. So they definitely are, you know, making the product smaller and still charging the same amount, which I've heard about happening right now. Um, but it, it's kind of disappointing because when you go to grab a salad that you're so used to grabbing all the other ones, you expect them to be the same and they're not. But hopefully the taste makes up for the cost. So this is the new salad and I cannot wait to try it in the taste test. So I just made cookies the other day and I realized they didn't have any semi-sweet chocolate chips. I had a bunch of other chips that I used, but um, I definitely needed to stock up. So I thought it would be good to show you guys as well. These are also gluten and dairy free, just so you know. Um, and yeah, so I got the semi-sweet chocolate chips and I also got the semi-sweet chocolate chunks because you never know what you're feeling at the time of baking cookies. So gotta have those. And then the last brand new item that we got, and this is certainly not least because these look phenomenal. The gluten-free double chocolate muffins. So these are made with chocolate chips, buttermilk, sour cream, and cocoa. So like I said, gluten-free. Let's check out the nutrition facts. Ooh, maybe we shouldn't check out the nutrition facts. Just, this is a, a dessert and a meal all in one. So you have here the ingredients. And unfortunately, I've heard really good things about these, so I'm sure I'm gonna love them. And the most important question is, are they dry? And I've heard absolutely not. Not dry at all, delicious, and 
well worth the purchase. So we'll see, like I said, in the taste test and hopefully I see you guys there on Sunday. So this is the haul this week. Small but mighty because there's a lot of seasonal and a lot of new. I'm so glad you joined me and I will see you over in the taste test. Not me munching on the spring gummies right after the haul's over. Um, me, never. These are so good and addicting and I'm sad they're seasonal but they also make me happy because when they come back in, I'm just like. <laughs> Party time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Can't wait for the taste test on Sunday and I hope you all um, can bear with the skipping of the day. I feel guilty about it, but sometimes things just come up and we have to take care of other things. And so one day isn't that big of a deal. Hopefully some of you can shop on Sunday after the haul or I mean the taste test, or you can uh, shop on Monday. That's like the most popular day to shop at Trader Joe's. And a lot of people actually ask me, so let me just get it over with. If you want slow days, Wednesdays and I believe Thursdays are like the slowest days um, and always in the morning, morning, Sunday morning. Ooh, that's a good time to go. So um, yeah, that's it for this haul this week. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, again, thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.